Okay, so this, let me just, hold on. Okay, so this story is really insane to me and it's getting wilder and, is that even a word? I don't even know at this point. I just feel like this is just, it's absolutely, guys, I'm just verbal diarrhea. I'm lost for words. This is insane. Hey guys, this is Marab Moradi. Hopefully you guys are doing well today. Back at it again with another video. Back at it again. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Let's get into this because apparently it seems that before we even get into who's pregnant, apparently the, the divorce has not been finalized. This is what Porsche has been claiming, that the divorce has been finalized. I can really hear Nini right now saying, close your legs to married men. That's exactly what she should be doing instead of getting advice from Kim and getting her own big papa. That in itself does need to happen. She said, me and Fallon are not friends. The divorce has been finalized. However, Fallon has come out with a statement to say that, you know, thank you to everybody for the support. I'm currently focusing on myself and currently lo looking at, you know, methods of finalizing the divorce. The divorce has not been finalized. There you the go, lies. this bitch, I'm telling you, trifling. That is what Fallon is saying. So if that's what Fallon is saying, then it means that he's still a married man and this is what Portia is doing. Now, of course, you know, he's on the way to being divorced, but you can't claim what, when if one is divorced when one clearly isn't. Portia has been called out for telling lies before, season nine. So I wouldn't put it past her if she was doing all of this. And this is what Fallon is obviously not saying. There are no reports saying that apparently Fallon and Portia are both pregnant by Simon. So that in itself doesn't make any sense to me. We've got sister wives here. I just hope that Fallon comes into the show next year. Otherwise, it just I don't want to see Portia and a new man. I want to see Portia, Portia and a new man and somebody else who was involved. I want to see that triangle. I want to see them interact with each other. I want to see that drama. I want to see that chemistry. That is what they need to bring for the next season. Because this whole bolo for how many episodes and then this fake pasta profit nonsense did not cut it. This was just arguably the worst season and the worst reunion. The ratings came out for this reunion. They were hideous, disgusting. Other housewives, their episodes have got higher than the reunion. The reunions are one of the most epic moments of a show, specifically for Atlanta. And this is what you're telling me, that this is what we're dealing with. I find it very frustrating. And I this whole scenario just doesn't make any sense to me. I don't know what Portia is doing. A part of me is hoping that this is just a lie to kind of bring Fallon on and, you know, joke around or something. I don't know, maybe it's April 4th. I don't know where it may though. So I just hope that this is some kind of joke or ploy, but it's not. I can't believe they confirmed that. I can't believe that, you know, it's such, I'm such a Portia stan, guys. But it seems that that needs to be revoked. Because it just, I'm, I'm genuinely dumbfounded by this entire, you know, it just doesn't make any sense to me that this is what is on, this is what, this is what is going on where, you know, apparently both of them are pregnant. I would take that with a pinch of salt, but the way this entire scenario has been so wild, I wouldn't put it past anybody this, that this could possibly be plausible. But, you know, Fadden is really exposing her for saying that this divorce has not been finalized. We're still married and you moved absolutely mad. And I just don't really stand Porsche anymore for doing stuff like this. I like, I'm, if this was Kenya, she would have been dragged for days on end. She, and I'm not well, somebody that stands Kenya a lot. She would have been dragged for days on end. And I do feel like Porsche has had, like, she's had so many lives on the show. She dragged up Kenya, lied about Candy with the severe accusations, still was able to stay on the show. And now we have her out here stealing her friend's husbands or, you know, her acquaintances' husbands, whatever. It, it doesn't look cute, guys. And apparently they're both pregnant. Let me know what your thoughts are, guys. Subscribe to the channel. Click that button for daily and consistent content. And I'll catch you guys soon for another video. See, I was about to end this whole video and, you know, get it out for you guys. But it seems that there's something else going on now as well. There's another girl involved with Simon. This is absolutely insane. Like, a girl that he was seen with him five weeks ago in his car. Okay, the jacket and everything is there. And even she captioned the post, he moves faster than the damn car. So what is Porsche? Porsche, are you dumb as rocks? That the fact that you've now ran to this man within a month and you're suddenly engaged with him now, you're probably going to have another baby. Then you're going to be divorced later on. This is what's going to happen all over again. Like this is what's going to happen. The fact that other girls now are being involved with this man is, you know, a very silly, scary move. Danger. But Porsche, I just feel like it's so blindsided by nonsense. Wants to run for the hills and does make me want to dislike it even more. The fact that we've got another mistress, another girl. I have this, 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 Simon is doing up Tristan Thompson. This is what I'm getting from this, but only far richer and it's a hot mess guys clean up on aisle three four five six seven eight and nine this is just this is 